Hey guys, it's Mrs. Shannon. I'm over here at the Selective Permeability Station. Um, if you are doing this as part of our stations, it's station number five, um, or if you're looking at this because you're doing a lab that involves dialysis tubing, um, you're going to follow the same process. In station number five, when you get there, you will have a sheet that gives you the directions like so. In the sheet, it's going to tell you to either use a baggie or dialysis tubing. We're going to be using dialysis tubing and there is a little trick to setting it up so I'm going to help you with that. Now if you know anyone in dialysis, dialysis is usually done if the kidneys aren't functioning. The kidneys clean the blood. If the kidneys are unable to clean the blood there's got to be a different way to do it. And one way to do it is dialysis in which the blood is taken, it's run through um, a machine that filters out different particles based on the size. It helps clean it out and then it returns the blood to the patient. This is done similar with dialysis tubing. The dialysis tubing lets only certain substances through but not everything. And so when we do this, dialysis tubing can be kind of a pain in the butt, to be honest. Um, there should be some already cut up and it's a little plastic tube that looks like this and what you're going to do is make sausages out of it. Um, the ends are not sealed. So you're going to take a piece of string and if there's none cut, just cut enough that you can tie off one of the ends. And so this, this is the fun job. And we're going to make a little sausage casing. Pull tight, please, because you want to make sure that there is a tight seal on it. Otherwise, your um, liquid, when you put it in, is just going to run out the bottom or out the top, depending on where your seal is loose at. So you want to make sure, tie it two or three times, make sure that it's nice and tight up here. Now the fun part, and this is where I said it's finicky, the reason it's in water is to help loosen it up and separate. The tube is um, going to be a little finicky and I, what I do is I rub it between my fingers like this until I can get it to loosen up and once I get it loose I can pry open the top. It's not going to open all the way up but hopefully you can see that it kind of opens up at the top. Now for this activity what I'm going to do is I have two funnels at the table. One of them is going to be used for the cornstarch and the other one is um, actually um, I might actually get rid of the other one. I might use a graduated cylinder instead. Um, the funnel is going to go into the dialysis tubing when you get that little opening made. And what you're going to do is it says to use a half teaspoon or a teaspoon of cornstarch. What you can do is I have like a third of a cup here. It looks like it's full because it's coated in white, but just a third of a cup and you're just going to kind of shake it through. Now it's wet on the inside so it's going to stick as you go down. It happens. Okay. You may have to use your fingers to help loosen it up all the way down as it goes down. So I'm just kind of sliding my fingers to kind of spread it apart. Okay. Now if it gets too dry, what's going to happen, the dialysis tubing, it's going to dry out and it's going to become brittle. If that's the case, we turn it to the water and take another piece, please. Okay, so it's slowly going. You have to shake it. The cornstarch will make little clumps up there. When you got a good amount in, just kind of tap it at the top to get it to go down. Don't tap too hard. We had someone in one of the classes that actually tapped it so hard it flew back on her. So be careful with that. Okay, so now I just have straight up cornstarch. Now what we're going to do is instead of pouring the water through the funnel to get it in because it's going to make a mess in the cornstarch, we are going to use this little graduated cylinder that has a little spout on one side. And it says a half a cup. Whoa. It's okay if it's not exact. A half a cup um, is going to register about 80 milliliters. Um, I'd say as long as you have 20, no, as long as you'd have like about 40 milliliters in there, it's fine. The point is just enough to mix it up. Um, because we're switching from baggies to dialysis tubing, I'm not, actually not sure how much is going to fit in to it, and it kind of depends on the length of dialysis tubing. So you're going to kind of want to keep it gently open and slowly pour in the water. Now, if you did not get the seal at the bottom big enough, you will know that because it will start pouring through to the other side. Okay, Okay, and you notice it's filling up with water. It'll be become easier to pour in as it fills up. Don't go all the way up to the top because remember you do need a tie off. 
Okay, so once it's you've got it at like two thirds of the way full or somewhat, you are then gonna take another piece of string and you're gonna tie the top of our little sausage. I don't know if you guys know that reference back in the back in the day, and sometimes if you go to a fine butcher, they still make the sausages in the nice casing that are tied onto one another. And so they look sort of like this. Okay. When you are ready, when you're done, it won't come out of either end if it's tight enough, you're ready to place it into the solution that um, the directions tell you to place it in, and then you can proceed and watch the observations from there. So I hope this helps you in setting up your dialysis tubing, and let me know if you still have questions.